guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making slime using only $1 ingredients. So the other day we went to the dollar store and I noticed that they had a really nice craft section with a bunch of really good supplies and I decided it would be really fun to do the Dollar Tree Slime Challenge where I make slime using only $1 ingredients and I really hope you guys enjoy. But first if you're new to my channel then hi I'm Melina. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button and follow me on Instagram where I post exclusive slime videos. I'll be sure to leave a link down below. And without further ado, let's get started. So for this first slime, I'm going to be using one of these clear colored glue bottles that I found that I thought would be perfect for slime. So I'm going to be using the pink one and I'm going to go ahead and pour this into the bowl. Next, to make the slime nice and sparkly, I'm going to go ahead and mix in one of these packets of glitter. And now for the slime activator, I'm going to be using baking soda and Tide because the dollar store does not sell borax. So first I'm going to add about a fourth teaspoon of baking soda, then I'm going to slowly add in the laundry detergent until the slime is fully activated. Now when I was making this slime, I realized that Tide activates slime really quickly and I did not know that, so unfortunately the slime did turn out a little bit stiff. I went ahead and mixed in a little bit of warm water to see if that would help soften up the slime. It did soften up a little bit, but it was still pretty stiff. I really like the color of this slime and I just love all the glitter in it. Even though the slime was pretty stiff, I was able to get some really good bubble pops out of it if I stretched it slowly and I was also able to get some clicking noises. So for this next slime, I'm going to be using some purple clear glue and I'm going to pour this into the bowl. Next, I'm going to go ahead and mix in some of this really pretty glitter poster paint. Now it's time to activate the slime, so I'm using about a fourth teaspoon of baking soda and a little bit of laundry detergent at a time, and this time I was trying to not overactivate this one. And now to change up the texture of the slime, I'm going to go ahead and mix in some tube confetti to make the slime nice and crunchy. This slime has such a nice texture, it's great for stretching, poking, and it has amazing bubble pops. The confetti in the slime is just so pretty and it makes the slime so nice and crunchy and it's a lot of fun to play with. So to start off with the third slime, I'm going to be using some white glue and I'm going to pour this into the bowl. Next, to give the slime some color, I'm going to go ahead and mix in some blue paint. Next, I'm going to go ahead and mix in some lotion to make the slime nice and soft. 
now it's time to activate the slime. So again, I'm using about a fourth teaspoon of baking soda and slowly mixing in laundry detergent at a time until the slime is fully activated. This slime has a very soft and smooth texture. It's great for stretching, poking, and it has really nice bubble pops. One thing I did notice when I was playing with this slime is that the more I played with it, the stiffer it got. The slime also had a weird wet residue on the top after sitting in the container for about 15 minutes or so. And now for the last slime, I'm going to be using white glue and blue clear glue, and I'm going to pour both of these into the bowl. Next, I'm going to go ahead and mix in some of this pink glitter poster paint. And now it's time to activate the slime. So once again, I'm using about a fourth teaspoon of baking soda and a little bit of Tide at a time until the slime is fully activated. Now to make the slime nice and crunchy, I'm going to go ahead and mix in some of these purple foam beads. The slime did get a little bit stiff, so I'm going to go ahead and mix in some lotion. I really like the texture of the slime. The foam beads make it super nice and crunchy and it's a lot of fun to play with. And just like the last slime, it does get a lot stiffer the more you play with it. But if I stretch it slowly, I'm able to get some good bubble pops out of it. So here are the Dollar Tree slimes and they were a lot of fun to make. The clear glue slimes definitely worked a lot better than the white glue slimes, so I definitely recommend trying that. I do think that Borax is a better activator than Tide and baking soda because the slimes overactivate pretty easily, but if you don't have any Borax, you can use this as an alternative. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below which slime was your favorite. And again, be sure to hit that red subscribe button and follow me on Instagram where I post exclusive slime videos. I'll be sure to leave a link down below. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!